me rebel. Let me talk to you. What? You never want to talk to me. But you did tell me about a boiler Pedro. So. Come with me. What is it? What is it that you want to tell me? That place was my home before it got attacked. This is why I'm so afraid, but if they find out that we live in a magical enchanted house in the Encanto, if they find out that we live here, imagine what those people would do to you and us. Especially my triplets, but I already grown up. I understand, but why can't you give them a chance? You allowed Bruno to go. I wasn't thinking straight yesterday, and I should have. Doesn't matter anymore. I don't want to be strict with anyone. And I don't want to hurt anyone. I felt like I was hurting you. But I understand your concern. And I understand you don't want anyone hurt. How... What are we going to do? I really want Bruno to use his gift more often. And I really want Isabella to be, I really want her to just be herself and not be perfect. And I'm sorry if I'm saying too much, but I just want life the way it should be. Maybe we could show, show the people who we really are. What if they come after us? What if, what if they come after all of us? I was afraid Bruno was in that town when he wasn't around. I knew deep down nothing happened to him. Really? Did you really think that? Abuela, can I, is it okay that if I take Bruno back to the town, as long as you're careful? Don't tell them that you have gifts. But we need to show them who we are. Two people at a time. Mirabelle. Only two people could go. Can I go? I could heal everything. And I could protect Mirabelle. I want to your Bruno to go. I want him to give it a chance, and if he doesn't like it, he could come home. And we don't have to go to that town ever again. Just give those people a chance. I mean, there is a guy there that thinks he can run everything. But maybe we can change people. What is taking so long for you to use your gift? I hope, I just don't want you to see something bad. I, I'm not sure if you really want to see my gift. Just get on with it already and stop acting like anyone's going to care. Hey, be nice to my uncle, okay? Just take your time, Bruno. Alright. Look, 
I don't care about you, but I care about your future. Okay? That's all that matters. If you get a bad result, so what? They're not going to throw my uncle away like my family did. What are you talking about? The future would throw you away. I don't know what to do. I think I'm crazy for letting you. I'm, I, I think I'm crazy for someone to, for letting someone to see my gift. I mean, who am I to let them? I just don't want to be someone's slave, but I have no choice because if they want to see the future, I'm going to let them. <sighs> Calm down, Bruno. It's just for nerves. Just the nerves. A little salt. Just promise me you'll stay here and watch your future. I've already seen mine. I didn't have fear in my eyes. The only one that doesn't want to have a terrible vision are the ones who don't care about the future. Smart girl, huh? You think you're smart with those green emerald glasses? I care more about my family. You probably don't. You probably abandoned your family. I can see it in your eyes that you don't care. It's a quiet day in the castle, Madrigal. Oh, it's raining. Papa, you're raining. I know. I just can't stop. I don't want to control my powers, and it's not my fault. You're raining inside of the house again. Clear skies. Clear skies. <sighs> Oh, oh, you rained in the house again? Don't do that again. Are you all right? Yes, we're fine. Good. Please be fine. I don't want anyone up upset because of Peppa. She knows I can't control it. I'm going outside. Please stay inside. If Peppa rains again, you might want to get a few umbrellas. Not my fault, but I can't control. <sighs> Brunito, where did he go? He wasn't at the. He wasn't at breakfast. Oh, it's raining. Pepper, calm down in there. Tio, Tio Bruno, what do you see? I see. I can't believe I'm seeing this. What are you seeing? I see his future. I 
I can see his family and everyone in the town not accepting him anymore. Ain't nothing this. End this now. I can't. End this. This is your future. So you think you can talk back to me, huh? Ow! Go, me! How about stay away from my uncle when he's doing a vision, huh? You think you run things around here when you don't. Do you even understand? You can get yourself killed. I gotta stop. No, keep going. I want to see where his future goes. It doesn't matter. <sighs> Fallen sand. And it's, and it's dis disgusting. You are one of a kind of... You, what are you trying to call me? You are a monster. And should stay in a monster's place. I'm never coming back to this encounter again. I would tell my entire family about you. Including you, young girl. You have no place to bring me here. Leave him alone. You are a monster. <sighs> Tio Bruno, please. I was right. I should have. <sighs> Tio, wait, please. It's okay, Peppa. Calm down. Please look at me. Calm down. What is worrying you right now? I feel bad for blaming Bruno for my wedding day when it was me. I should have never been so upset at him. I should have been upset at myself. But I'm always blaming other people. Calm down. Okay? I just, I just don't know what to do right now. Hey, I'm back. We have to talk about something. Those people are going to find us. So you went back? Abuela, I can explain. Enough. So you went back. I told you to not go back. You didn't say that. I... Do you know how many people could kill you? But guess what? We were all called monsters. We were literally called evil witches and sorcerers for no reason. Oh, Peppa, it's raining again. You always make an excuse. What are you talking about? Peppa, calm down. How are you supposed to... Why? How should I calm down? You're raining in the house. It wasn't... It wasn't my fault. That man wants to use us. Whatever you're doing. I don't want to blame you. I don't want to blame anyone. I've been trying to keep this family a secret for so many generations. And this is how you want to let the secret out, Mirabelle, and tell the people that we live in the mountains of the Encanto. 
How could you do this to us? It wasn't her fault. She wanted me to come out of my shell. We have to go downstairs. What did you do? It wasn't my fault, Tia Peppa. Of course, it wasn't your fault. But you, you allow, you're allowing those intruders from a long time ago to come back and hurt us. How could you do this, Mirabelle? Hey, you're making it windy in the house. I don't care. I want those people out. Please, let me explain. You've explained far too enough. I knew you were going to let those people in. Please, it was an accident. That was no accident. What you've done was no accident. Are you cold? I'm okay. I'm sorry for waiting in the house again. Casita, please protect us. Please. Pedro, protect us. Mirabelle, I can't. I don't understand. You have to understand. I've only wanted Bruno to meet a new friend. A new friend that could kill us, Mira. A new friend that could kill us. You don't know him. You don't know anyone. Mom, how could you say that? Is everyone all right in here? I'm fine. I'm sorry for raining. I was just so upset. Mom, don't worry about anything. I'm a little cold, but I'm fine. You know, I've... I had another vision. What? Please don't rain in the house. You clearly don't like my vision, but that's what they make me. But that's who I am, Peppa. I don't bring misfortune. I don't know what to do. Bruno? Bruno! Mirabelle, come back. He needs time to himself. I don't care. Bruno, wait. Now look what you've done. I thought you would learn your lesson by now. There you go, blaming me again for something I, for something I was trying to do. What were you trying to do, Mirabelle? You allowed outsiders into our lives. They can't get a, over the Encanto Mountain. It was too late. You showed him his future. I didn't. Bruno did. Doesn't matter. This is why... I never trusted you in the first place. What are you talking about? This wasn't my fault. And you know deep down it wasn't. Mirabelle, I trusted you before. But I never knew you would go this far. And that's for my son Bruno. When I saw his door, I knew something terrible was going to happen.
I don't want you hurting the family. Abuela, please. I'm not hurting anyone. Then what did you... Then how come Peppa was raining in the house? And how come... How come you... You you trusted people that you may not even know? You've only met the man for only... I don't know. It wasn't her fault, and you know that, Bruno. Go inside. No. I'm not going to let you hurt me, Rebel, again. Please. It wasn't her fault, and you know it wasn't. I'm not going to let you hurt my niece ever again. She was trying to let me come out of my shell so I could meet someone. Uh, and so I could show them who I really am. But if this is how you want to be... Be over people's heads, but maybe we should be around you. Bruno. No, I'm telling the truth. I'm not going to let you hold her again. Let's go in. Mirabel, I can't believe you. So you're on her side too? You don't know those people. I've told you all the time, be careful. I'm not a child anymore. Neither is Bruno. I don't understand why you're so afraid. I thought you let go after Casita collapsed. You'll never let go and you'll never understand. Mira. No. I don't understand why you're so overprotective of the family. Just let them come into our lives and hurt us, just like they hurt your father, Pedro. I don't think so. But I really don't want this family to feel like they don't love me. I love them so much. I just don't want anyone to feel like they can't come and talk to me, Julita. I love you. I love you too.